Hello guys, in this tutorial let's go in depth with Euler graphs. I think Euler graphs is not a small topic, it's a bit elaborated topic as per compared to our past videos. So initially a Euler graph, you need to know what is a Euler path. It is, uh, okay let's go through it. It is a path that traverses each edge exactly once. Each edge should be traversed only once okay only once okay so let's see what is a Euler graph a graph that contains an Euler path is called as a Euler graph okay now we are clear with Euler graph and path now let's see what is a Euler circuit first and last vertices are same it is a circuit that traverses each edge exactly once and only once. Okay, I think everyone is clear with all the three definitions that we have just gone through. Okay, let's see what is a Euler path. From each edge, we should traverse exactly once. And every, U, every graph which has Euler path is a Euler graph. And if the initial and final positions are same, then it is a Euler circuit. Okay, I think everyone is clear with it. A vertex in all this a vertex can be repeated but an edge should not be repeated the main condition for Euler's okay let us take an example okay let us take the lower example okay here it is clear that a b c d e is the are the vertices and edges edges I didn't indicate them okay that's fine so initially I traveled a to c C to D, D to B, B to A, A to D, D to, sorry, B to A, A to D, D to E. I traveled from all the edges and I repeated few of the vertices too. I repeated D, I visited D twice. That's fine. I should visit all the paths that's the main idea okay i can visit all these in another way also a to c c to d d to b b to e e to d d to a there may be many number of paths many number of paths and this is called as a Euler path as the initial and final positions are not similar hence that is a Euler path okay let us take this as an example okay 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 hmm so now v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 so if I try to travel from one place to another let us start at v1 v1 to v2 v2 v1 to v2 v2 to v3 v3 to v4 v4 to v5 v5 to v3 v3 to v1 I reached the exact same point again I started at v1 I started at v2 so now it is a Euler circuit okay if there is a guy who is not good at this kind of analysis there is another method to find okay initially you need to write down the number of vertices from A there are sing one two three so I wrote three here from B there are three one two three sorry three vertices here there are two vertices two one two three three vertices a single word uh, sorry double vertex okay so here we are having more than two odd numbers more than two odd more than two odd numbers so this is a Euler path okay I think everyone understood it so whenever we are having an another case in in this case we are having all are even so if all are even then it is a Euler circuit I hope everyone understood what is a, how I am finding them okay let us take another example this is the example at every place it is 3 3 3 3 3 all are odd so it is not a Euler path that's it I hope everyone was clear with all these things it is really simple so let's go once again through the definitions Euler path 
from each edge you should travel exactly once not more than once and you can skip and you can pass through vertices again and again every eula path a, a graph which consists of a eula path is a eula graph and if the initial and final positions are same then it is a eula circuit thanks for watching i hope everyone understood it thanks for watching